Hello everybody and welcome to my Sunday pickup video. Um, first of all, I'm going to start this off. It's all video game related stuff. Uh, except for one thing uh, that's going to be movie related. Uh, I'm going to start this off with my games that I have up for trade. Uh, remember I said uh, my friend gave me a bunch of games for free? Well, these are the doubles that I had. And I'm just looking to trade them off. And I'm probably going to put them up like on my local for buy and sell to get rid of them. Uh, first one is Raise as Hell. I heard this is starting to get on common. Um, pretty good shooter, I would say. Uh, you go around as a monster killing these little pink fluffy things, which is pretty cool. It, it is complete. So I have Dead or Alive 1 Ultimate. Uh, I didn't come with the two games, so but it is complete. Splinter Cell. A lot of people know what Splinter Cell is, so. Uh, X Men Legends, excellent beat em up type game. Uh, dungeon Crawler slash RPG. Uh, I love these games. Marvel games, like. I don't know, I'm a big Marvel fan. You're gonna see that after. Uh, Fusion Frenzy. I swear to God, I have never seen a copy yet with a manual, and this is not for the individual sale, but I heard this goes for like 10 bucks, and I don't know how, but yeah. Uh, I also have a copy of Fable, complete, uh, with EV game sticker on the manual, fuck I hate you, I used to fucking hate that, uh, that's why, like, it makes me debate when I buy them, but uh, I got this, so, uh, another copy of Halo Combat Evolution, I think this is the not for resale, I, most people find, like, Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt, uh, very common, I think this is my third or fourth copy of Halo, like, come on. Can I find any other game besides Halo? And Torque, Prehistoric Punk. Uh, this is also complete. Uh, I never played this game, but it looks like a little pretty cool platformer game. Uh, looking forward to playing it when I do play it. But uh, this is also for trade. So those are the games that I have up for trade right now. I'm going to move on to the game memorabilia stuff before anything. I picked up, I did go yard selling, didn't get anything besides, like, two things, and I picked up uh, these maracas for somebody amigo. Um, this is going to my girlfriend. I bought her the game for Christmas, and the game did come with this uh, that I picked up yesterday for 10 bucks with the game and the two maracas. Um, she'll be getting the maracas. I will probably keep the game. I'm not 100% sure. The uh, game, I can't remember where I put it right at the moment. So, yeah, shake it up. Give me a second, I'm going to put that down. Uh, picked up, also this year, I'm selling a spiral figure from McDonald's, I believe. Uh, it's missing the thing that goes in his moat, and you can fire him with a button right here. Uh, when I went to McDonald's, when these were out, I couldn't get one. Uh, so I picked one up yesterday, a yard sale woman said I could have it, so I just took it. I uh, went back to the dollar store, they had some pop vinyl back in, and I got... Pop movies, Rocky, Ivan Drago. Uh, my opinion from the favorite, my favorite movie, I did like Rocky IV. Uh, I know many people don't like it, but I did. So I was very happy to get this. Now I have Clever Lang and uh, Ivan Drago, Drago, and they'll go with my other two pop vinyls. And like I said, around here, they want 15 bucks for these at the other stores, and I refuse to pay that when I can get them at the dollar store for three dollars or dollarama in Canada um, but yeah and did everybody hear about the new amiibo line coming out they're gonna be 15 something up here in Canada I don't know if that's gonna be everywhere but uh, yeah I was looking forward to picking up a couple and now the prices are that high I'm like no I'm not gonna bother uh, I'll stick to my Disney infinite figures so uh, this my question for this week would probably be uh, what do you think of amiibos what their pricing and uh, please let me know what you think about Konami going fully digital now. Uh, not making any more games, physical and everything like that. Uh, really ticked me off because Konami was like one of my favorite companies. And now you can't, you won't be able to get a physical copy of them. Uh, let's move on to this. And I do have a little rant coming on, coming up after this 